Hi everyone. I'm here to do um, some flower coasters. I just did this um, this project and just finishing that up. Um, I've put some resin in the other ones for my flower ones. I'm just gonna hit it with the heat gun here. Okay, now I just did that to try to get some of bubble, some of the bubbles out. Um, I've got some uh, glitter here mixed up that I'm going to put in the center. And I've still got some of this pink left over that I'm going to use. And I just need to make up some um, white now. So I'm going to... Hopefully if I have any extra resin, I will do a fourth of that other coaster there. But for now, I wanted to do the flower ones the same. Okay, so I've got my resin in there. I just received the Armor Art Easy Flow White. So I'm gonna put a squeeze of that in. Oh, so much nicer than the other. Okay. So I've got that in there and I'm going to put a, probably two drops of the piñata alcohol ink. One, two, oh, I got three. Okay, three drops of the piñata alcohol ink. And just need to mix that up. Okay, now I'm thinking I might try and add some of this. It's a pearlescent pigment powder. This is uh, the carrot collection from Mrs. Colorberry. I just got in this order. I ordered from Infin Affinity Gallery in Canada. They had a sale on. So... I'm just going to open this up here. And this would be the first time I think I've tried to do this, to put something into the white, but I thought maybe that'll give it a nice little sheen. Yeah, it does. Okay, let me keep mixing that up here. All right, so I'm liking that. So I Put the lid back on this before I get it everywhere. Okay, so that was pearlescent pigment and powder, the carrot collection. Okay, now I've got my cups here ready to go. So, just putting these colors now into my piping bag. And the whites in there. I think I might just put a tiny bit more. It's getting thick. I can feel it already. Okay, let's set that aside. And one more little squirt there of the color berry. I didn't even put a full squirt in. Just wanted to get a little bit more in there. Okay, other bag here. A 
I'm excited. My last flowers that I did, they turned out, I was really happy with them. At first I wasn't so sure, but then they really grew on me. I really liked them. So I'm hoping that these ones will turn out nice too. Okay, so those are in there. I'm just going to add my centers, although I can see. Okay, I'm just going to give these a really quick torch. It's probably the first time I've torched in this mold, but I could see there was some mini bubbles and you can see I'm not spending any time in one spot there. I was moving the torch around. Shoot, I can still see them. Okay, I'm gonna go with the, the heat gun again. my centers in. Stand up to do this. See, I can still see them, but I will be hitting it again with some more heat. So I'm going to try not to let it bother me too much there. All right. Okay, and a tiny bit more in the other one. Might as well use it up. Oh. Okay. All right. That's that. Okay. Sorry, I'm going to wipe my hands off. Oh, I'm so sorry. I bumped the camera here. Okay. Making sure you can still see what's going on. Yes, you can. But maybe I'll just move the board down a little bit. And you can see a bit better. There. All right. Okay. And I'm going to give these also one quick spurts. This one especially was the last one I did and it has some bubbles on the top already. Oh, but they're popping. Okay. All right. I'm going to start with the white. Give them a twist in there. And then just cut a little bit off the end. And then just check my wall size. Yeah, I think that's good. All right, there we go. I'm trying to not really do a pattern here. Although it's hard because I want to try and do this as neatly as possible, but I don't always think that that is the way to go. So. And the light is starting to get a little bit darker outside. The sun just went down, I can feel that. Okay, ah, okay, all right. That's the first one. And now I'm going to do the second one. Just trying to get my bag a little bit tighter here. All right. I'll wipe that off. Okay, there we go. doing a better job on this one to not have quite the rhythm going, I think. A 
okay that's good okay now I'm ready to do the pink get a little bit warm but it's not hot definitely a slower work time than my other resins have been okay here we go with the pink the last time I did my flowers I used a mica a metallic mica in them and it really turned out nice. Well, I'm definitely going to try it again with a different color. There we go. Okay, now for the other. Starting to run out. Come on. Gonna have to squeeze it up a bit more. There we go. I do have enough. There we go. All right. Now to put the heat gun on it. On low. Okay. Yeah, I can see some bubbles popping and I can see that it's already starting to bloom over on this side here. Okay, push in. Okay, I'm happy with that. Thanks for watching and I will be back for the reveal. Okay, I'm back to do the reveal on my coasters. First thing I should note is that I put my lid on and I did have some runoff over here. Um, but, and I didn't have enough to do a top coat on this one, so I still have to do that. But of all the coasters, this one was my least favorite, so I decided to save it. I'll do that off camera. Okay, so let's do these ones first. Okay, so some little bit on the edges that's easily taken off. I can either sand it off or I can use my hot knife. Um, yeah, let's see what the back looks like. Yeah, pretty much the same, except I've got some little micro bubble holes there. Um, but this is the side. That's the beautiful side. And you um, can see it's see-through, really like that. That's what I was attempting to go for. I really like how these turned out, they're very pretty. So I imagine this one's going to be the same. 
Oh, not as many micro bubbles on the bottom of this one. And then a little, just a little touch up on the sides. There's not, um, there's not like a lip around here. It's, it's nice and flat. Um, yeah, really happy how this one turned out as well. Now this one, I added a little bit more glitter to it than the other ones. Um, again, I like it a lot. I think I like the ones with less glitter though. But uh, yeah, again, the back, not taking that one out. Okay, so let's see how my flowers turned out. Okay, wow, I love them. I'll have to clean this side up. Again, it's very uh, flexible still, so it won't be hard to take off. So there's a little bit of overflow there and a little bit of overflow there, but wow, look at the flower. Okay, I'm gonna hold this up so you can get a better view. Isn't that cool? Yes, I love it. I love it. Okay, let's see. Hopefully this one looks as good as the other one. Don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, isn't that nice? Oh wow, I'm so happy how they turned out. Um, I was using stone coat countertop for a bit on my flowers. I think it's just too thick of a resin though. They were not turning out. So this is moss and uh, yeah, I really like it. Really happy with how it turned out. All right, I hope you like my video. Please uh, consider subscribing and hit like. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.